erstwise lights of England, watch the ships of England go. On Tower Hill stands the blackened, fire-scarred shell of Trinity House, home of the authority that administers lighthouses, lightships, pilot boats and buoys, and all the other aids to navigation round our coasts. So also stood Trinity House in 1666, after the Great Fire of London. Originally a religious house, with pilotage duties, it was given a royal charter in the reign of Henry VIII. Now it is governed by a master, deputy master, and 22 elder brethren, of whom Mr. Winston Churchill is one. There are 1,217 lighthouses on the coasts of the British Isles, built and maintained by Trinity House. There are 87 lightships. of Trinity House goes on just the same, guiding the ships through narrow channels, past dangerous rocks, hidden shoals and reefs, and today guiding the great convoys safely into port. When a convoy is expected, the whole coast becomes alive and looks out to sea. How many are there? Are they all there? On the lighthouse, the Trinity House keeper watches. On shore, the Coast Guard phones headquarters. At the nearest convenient point, the Trinity House pilot awaits a message. In peacetime, when a ship required a pilot, he was standing by out to sea at the mouth of the channel in a pilot boat, waiting to pick up the ship. But in wartime, the pilots must remain on shore and wait for orders. Hello? Mr. Blewett? It is for you, Skipper. Right on. Hello? Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Sorry, Pat, I heard that my drink. Can't stay to finish the game. Right up, Bill. Bill is a typical pilot. Born in a seaport, the son of a fisherman. He went to sea when he was 14 years old. Now he goes out to pick up one of the ships of the convoy and bring it safely into harbor. He knows this coast better than you know your street. Every shoal he knows, every rock and shallow, and every current. He can tip you off too where to sink your lobster pots, or where to cast your nets. He can smell fog when the sun is shining, and see a storm pushing a lazy little cloud in a clear sky. But he has to know more now. He has to steer his ship on a complicated course through minefields, where a mistake in reckoning is a disaster and loss of valuable lives. Once he gets the okay from the naval authorities, he will proceed, guided by the lightships and lighthouses, and at night by their flashing lamps. You can take it that once a ship is in home waters and in the hands of a pilot, she is safe. Every day there are thousands of tons of our shipping on the oceans of the world. Every day thousands of tons of our shipping come safely into harbor. Trinity House plays no small part in this. And though many ships have been lost and many sailors have been lost, the convoys still go out and still return from all the seven seas from every quarter of the globe.
pilots have a cheerful life compared with lighthouse keepers. It's all right when you're on land. You have a nice little house and a bit of garden, and probably a wife and kid. But you're two months on the lighthouse before you get a month of this. Two months with two other men on a lighthouse, perhaps 12 miles out on a rock. That takes courage. So you say goodbye as you said it before, and you pat her on the head and tell her to be good, and you go off as if you were going off for the day, because that's the best way of going. Trinity House tender takes you out. All the stuff you need for two months is piled around you, and you wonder what you've forgotten. Let's hope it isn't the tin opener. The tender can't reach the lighthouse, it draws too much water, and the rock's like a razor, and there is the swirling current and the uneasy tide. That's why they take you over in a small boat and land you by breeches, boy. There you are for the next two months with only two companions. But if the weather turns bad, the relief boat may perhaps be days, weeks, or even months overdue. The man on shore duty doesn't like the look of things. He distrusts the look of the sea. He's uneasy. He smells a mist coming up, following the fading light. He wonders whether they'll get back in time. There's another ship out to sea, too, a tanker or a merchantman. He's not going to take any chances. Keeper goes to his lamps. It'll soon be time now. It'll soon be time. It's time now for the great lamps to flash out, to flash their warning and their welcome home over the wide sea. The coastwise lights of England, watch the ships of England go.